Hey guys, in this week's video, I'm finally gonna tell you about my first fight. I know I've been talking about it for like almost a year now, but it was just a lot to process for me. And so I'm finally gonna talk about it. Um, and I also wanna say sorry if this video goes up late. I've been actually very good about uploading every Wednesday and or Thursday, depending on how busy I am. So this is most likely going up tomorrow, Thursday. So. Oh, and second disclaimer. <laughs> second disclaimer is I feel like I'm getting sick. So sorry if like I feel look tired slash start sounding like Chucky more and more as the vid goes on because I already sound like Chucky on like a normal everyday basis when I'm not sick. So now that I'm, I feel like I'm getting sick and I hope it's not the coronavirus. Um, so anyway, let's get started. <laughs> so my first fight, I want to talk to you about first what happened from my perspective, second what I learned from fighting, and third the future. First of all, I just want to say that fighting is a very traumatic experience, <laughs> and which is why it took so long to make this video. I mean, my fight was on April 26 of 2019. And it literally took me probably like a month to even write on my journal about it because I was just so just trying to like process the experience. It's like an out of out of body experience. I don't know if like I can explain it very well. But to me it just really felt like I was so high on adrenaline, it felt like I was on the moon. Like somebody told me to go kickbox on the moon and like there was no time, no, it was all black. All I could see was my opponent. I could hear my coaches. I could hear my training partners at times telling, you know, like yelling stuff out from the audience. And I could hear, of course, my opponent's coaches. But it really, everything else was just black, even though like moments before we'd just been in like a hotel ballroom kind of room, everything just, went black and it was like hyper focused and I thought I felt adrenaline in the gym because there have been a couple times that I felt like actually threatened when like somebody came in and I really felt like oh shit this person wants to knock me out and it was like nowhere near it it was it was like 200th floor 400th floor 500th floor Van Gogh's night sky it was, I was so high, I just really honestly felt like there was no gravity and I was on the moon. You know that meme, where were you when the acid hit? I was in the ring and there's somebody trying to kick my ass. <laughs> oh. But at the same time, I was like, awesome. Uh, it sucks that I lost the fight, but I really, honestly, looking back, like it was so much fun and I don't care that I lost in terms of like my pride of like winning and losing, I care that I didn't perform as good as well as I know I can perform. And that's what really bothered me at the other side of, you know, when everything was done, that's what really bothered me. And I really focused on my training really hard this past year so that I can perform better when we go to the tournament this year. But let's talk about what happened. First of all, I'm not going to show you the whole fight because it's really boring. Um, I was filled with so much doubt. Like, I've never had, like, a physical fight ever in life. So, um, I really didn't know what to expect. And so going into the fight, I felt a lot of just doubt. Like, I didn't, and I didn't even understand back then. I just, I just felt doubt of, like, I don't know what to expect. And so there's a lot of, like... Like I was saying, it's, it's an out-of-body experience. So there were moments where like, for example, I was doing, like when I look back at the video, I do a bunch of stuff and I don't even know how I did it. I'm not aware, I don't remember. <laughs> and then there are moments that I can remember of the fight that I told myself like, let's do something. And there are moments in time where I remember being in the fight thinking, but unable to move my body. Like I couldn't feel my body. And like there's there's a whole spectrum of like just weird sensations like I'm 
in I am not me, but I am me. I don't know, it's, it's a very weird experience. So because of that, <clears throat> because of that, there was, that showed up as like a lot of inactivity, especially in round two. Um, so the point being, my fight is really boring and I don't want to bore you. And number two, I am very cautious and very like loyal about, there are certain things that I know my coaches consider to be kind of like gym, I don't want to say secrets, but you know, like special techniques that you don't necessarily want to give away. And if somebody were to look at, were to look up my channel or my videos, like I don't want to give up my coach's secret techniques, if, if you know what I mean. So I don't want to post all of it because of that either. Um, but anyway, but I will show you little bits and pieces here and there. I was really nervous backstage, but at the same time, I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. I'm I'm doing this. Um, there was just a lot of doubt that I couldn't really even understand, and I didn't allow myself to feel it. And I wish, looking back, that I would have just allowed myself to feel the uncertainty, the fear, and the doubt. From this experience, as a person, I've learned that if you don't pers if you don't process your emotions, it's like you're in resistance, and it, that's why there was so much inactivity in my fight because I didn't process my fear before the fight and I never really even like had fun like ever since the moment that I was signed up for the tournament last year to the moment that I fought I just couldn't have fun anymore everything got really serious and like oh shit I'm actually gonna do this I have to do this um and it had become no longer fun by then. Um, but anyway, I'll get into that later. But let's talk about what happened in the fight. So my first round, apparently my first round, um, I did the best. All I remember is we fist bumped because there, you know, the ref calls you over and like, he's like, are you ready? Are you ready? Fist bump. And I just ran towards her. <laughs> I ran towards my opponent and I, I threw a jab and a low kick. And that's literally all I remember. After that, like, I have no idea what was going on until later in the round, I got hit by a knee. And that's literally the only the thing that hurt the entire fight. But for some reason, that first knee that hit me, it brought me back to reality. Like, even though I'd gone in, <laughs> I went in so wild for that first combo, it was like, the adrenaline hit me and I was like in shock. Um, and like I said, I don't even remember what happened. When I look at the video, I like, I'm defending, I'm moving well, I'm aware. But it's like, at the same time, I'm like, it's, I'm just running on like reflexes. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that first knee that hit me because the girl came in and clinched me and landed a knee it brought me back to reality and i like it focused me and <laughs> i remember because she hit me in the stomach with a knee and then immediately after we somehow turned around in the ring and immediately after she went for the second knee and she hit my pubic bone and that's what really hurt and that's what i was like a oh, hell no bitch um, you're gonna see how much my how much the knee hurts on you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh hell no! And like, I was like immediately like, kind of like, I was I got really mad. So which was good because like I said, it just brought me back to the moment that kind of focused me. It like forced me to focus to to like, otherwise you know this girl's just gonna knee me. Over and over, but. Um, after that, I remember telling myself, like, and I heard my coach say, like, you know, inside control, which is something he says a lot when we do clinch, and it just, like, it just clicked, and I, and I, I had my best round because I was able to clinch and land knees, um, which is something that I, I was so afraid of clinch, if you guys do martial arts, it's kind of like, um, or if you don't, I guess, when you clinch in kickboxing, it's kind of like you're wrestling, but at the same time, you're standing up and, and you can throw knees. And I was so afraid of clinching. And in my head, going into the fight, I was going to do all that was necessary not to clinch. 
and I was really surprised to see that actually I'm good in the clinch and I was really proud of myself that I threw knees because I always consider that to be the most like one of the most difficult um, weapons that you can use just because I don't to me it's more difficult to use them in practice it's the one that's like been the longest to develop my knees and I was so surprised and just like so happy and excited that I'm actually good in clinch um, when I clinch and when I throw knees just because I was like I was just so surprised I did not expect it at all I remember telling my teammates before I went to my fight like I hope I throw knees like I just want to throw one knee <laughs> Because that would be like the coolest thing I could do. And that's actually what I did best in the fight. So, round one was cool. I go back to my corner. I can't remember if like, I thought I was losing or I just, I was like, I was, I'm obviously still in shock. And I was just trying to process my emotions. And I think I was aware <laughs> that like, oh shit, I'm just trying to like process my emotions. And that kind of made me think. I don't know if it made me feel sad, but I was aware that I wasn't happy for it. I don't know if I, I can explain what I was feeling, but I was feeling kind of like neutral to negative in the corner. But then I got up. Oh, and I do remember my coach saying like, I did a good job. Um, but I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't believe him. And I got up to go to the second round and I swear to God, this is what I mean when I say like this was an out of body experience. Like, when I got up from my stool in the corner, literally, like, how I saw the world was that it was like if this is the floor, it was like this. It was like, it was like I was tilted, and for some reason, like that really freaked me out and it completely took my focus out. Uh, right when I first started the second round. Um, now my opponent, she was on her fourth fight. This was like a tournament and the first bracket of on your weight, it was like zero to three fights. So this girl had had three fights, I had had zero. The next bracket is like you had four to six fights or seven fights or something like that. So she was kind of right at the edge where like she couldn't, she didn't have enough fights to go into the next bracket. So she was at the highest level of experience versus me having none. And in the second round, um, I like I feel like I could really see that she had experience by the way that she moved her body in the ring. I would think about like, okay, what combination am I gonna throw? Or like, I remember my coach kept telling me to throw a combination, and I literally felt like that went on for like ten minutes of him just yelling the combination over and over again, and me just like blanking out and it was probably like five seconds like you probably like said it like twice or three times but when i was in that moment it just felt like forever i felt like i was on a loop and yeah i was just having a hard time moving my body and f next thing i know the girl would hit me with a jab and like i immediately would hit her back and then go back to like <laughs> just being out of it i was just so out of it i i think that's when like everything just kind of overwhelmed me like and my mind and everything and um yeah i was just trying to like i was just trying to like fuck like figure it figure shit out and um my opponent did a really good job in the second round of uh not letting me clinch with her anymore um i think i might have still done a little bit but she i noticed that she had way better footwork in the second round in compared to my footwork um, just because I was trying to figure shit out. <laughs> oh, God. It fucking sucked in the moment. Like, I knew I'm doing... I, I was, like, aware that I was doing bad. But I couldn't do anything about it. Like, at, at certain moments, at, cer at, cer at certain other moments, like, it would just be automatic that it, something would happen. I remember my coach at one point was like, because he kept yelling the same combination at one point he got mad and he's like just throw anything and i threw like one two <laughs> uh it was just so fucking it just sucked and but like was awesome at the same time 
Uh, when I went to sit on the stool in the corner for the third, after the second round, I could tell my coach was so pissed at me. <laughs> and he just kept telling me, like, you're going to listen to me, listen to me. And I couldn't communicate because there I, I can't even fucking process what's going on. So, of course, like, let alone have a conversation, but, like, I could hear him. <laughs> I wanted to say so badly, like, I can hear you. I just can't fucking do it right now. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to figure shit out. Like, this girl wants to kick my, kick my ass. I feel like I'm on the moon. Suddenly, like, I'm, I don't have a body. I'm just, like, a head. And I don't know. Uh, so I, f I was feeling pretty defeated by the end of the second round because now I'm, like, definitely losing the fight. And by then, I convinced myself I probably lost the first round, too. <sighs> so the third round starts... And, like, thank God I'm back to, like, feeling like myself. <laughs> like, I remember I was, like, I got off the stool. <laughs> I walked towards my opponent and I was, like, in my head, I was, like, I got to knock this girl out. Like, I'm losing this fight. Like, how? And that's when I just, I just started going, like, I just started throwing more volume. Like, she then started using different weapons because I was moving in, trying to close the distance. I was trying to clinch with her, like, or just even get close, land my shots. Um, and by then, her footwork was really good. Like, um, I could see her experience. Like, now she understands how to fight me. She understands what I want to do. And I barely just decided. <laughs> to, like, all right, I'm, I'm going to fight and I'm going to fight you. <laughs> The hardest thing about martial arts and like fighting is that when you lose, like you have to be in the ring with the winner, and they're gonna raise the other person's hands like in front of everybody. Um, so you have to be willing to go through like embarrassing moments, dark moments in front of the audience. Basically, is what I one of the things that I learned through my fight, and like I had to go through that embarrassing beautiful experience in front of my teammates like it was terrible um but that's fighting i guess like and that's just being an artist like jeff go jeff godin seth godin says for something to be art there has to be the possibility that it might not work and yeah and sometimes you make some shitty stuff and you have to do it in front of everybody. And with fighting, that feels so much more personal and so much more traumatic. Like, um, there's a lot of shame in losing, which is kind of crazy because if you actually look at every fight, there's a 50% chance that every person is going to lose. <laughs> like, there can only be one winner, and every fighter thinks they're going to win, and their gym thinks that their fighter is going to win. And it's like, there's going to be a loser in every fight. Um, but for some reason, like, the people around you are very critical. So much more critical of fighting versus other arts. Because I feel like when I was dancing in college and in high school, like, yes, there were moments when I did stupid shit. Like, maybe I didn't remember the choreography or maybe I remember the choreography, but I wasn't on time. And like, you know, be like, oh shit. <laughs> and just like do stupid shit. I remember my senior year of high school in our dance recital for my ballet studio. We had three shows. And for one of them, I actually went out with a dress on backwards for my duet. <laughs> that, that will be another story I should tell you. If you want to hear it, let me know in the comments. The point I'm trying to make is like when I was dancing, if I made a mistake or my friend may have made a mistake, like nobody ever questioned your ability to dance again. And with fighting, it's like, oh my God, can you even like win a fight? I remember somebody, um, right after my, the day after my fight, they sat with me and they were like, but are you competitive though? Like, are you competitive? And it's like, wow, like, why can I just make a mistake in fighting? Like, you can make a mistake in, in dance. Like, why does it suddenly have to be like, 
so life and death and that's something that i learned through this experience like kickboxing is just like any other sport if you make a mistake you just do it again you try again if you want to of course um but it's not like it doesn't de one performance doesn't define your abilities and i feel like people especially people that don't fight are very willing to judge you and stop believing in you and you see that with even prof professional fighters especially like so many people just talk shit about them and it's like I can, you can tell somebody's not a fighter if they talk shit about other fighters because they have no idea what it's like there to be in there like mentally um, there's so much going on that it's not just about oh just do x y and z it's like you're battling so much uh, so much more than just your opponent your thoughts your emotions what was going through your life at that time what kind of like, hardships you're going through you know did, did, did your weight cut go well did your training go well like so many things it's so emotional and so stressful um but for some reason this sport like we're so much more critical of an athlete's performance in this sport specifically it's actually i feel like a little bit harsh um but yeah my takeaway from this whole thing was just like try again <laughs> honestly because i would feel really like disappointed in myself if i never tried again because it would just be because of fear not because not because of any other thing and it's like it's okay to feel afraid but it's not okay to let fear hold you from doing things that you really love thank you for watching if you still are subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination this is a video that i known i had to make for a very long time because it's central to our discussion of power how you feel about your own power how you decide to behave about your own power um of course i know my channel is not about fighting like kickboxing but um these are definitely like really important lessons for us to discover about ourselves if we want to go on and like i don't know how build a business or just be like a, a good person or a, a well-developed person so that's why i'm sharing my story let me know in the comments your ideas your experiences anything um anything you want to tell me <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for listening.